Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to use the Homebrew App Store on your Nintendo Switch, but I will be showing you how to use it from your computer so you never have to connect your Switch to the internet, which could potentially get it banned. So basically, the Homebrew App Store just has loads of emulators and kind of like homebrew projects that you can download and then use on your Nintendo Switch with any custom firmware you want. So the first thing you want to do if you want to get some of these games is just hold the power button on your Nintendo Switch, wait for the menu to come up, go to power options power off and now you can take out your SD card and then connect it to your computer now over on your computer I will leave a link to the switch app store um, in the description of this video so you guys can just click on it and bring it up and I'm on it right now and it's actually quite a simple looking site so basically we've got all the options down here the first option is just a search feature if you're looking for an app or a specific homebrew game you will be able to find it with this then we've got home this just shows everything that's on the website uh, we've got loaders this just includes the homebrew menu and the homebrew app store um, as I said before you can use this on your Nintendo Switch um, but you will have to connect to the internet to use it that's why I'm using it through my computer um, just like this way and then we've got games so these are all kind of like homebrew games um, custom games that people have made we've got emulators um, like RetroArch and stuff like that then we've got tools um, so these are kind of like um, weird homebrew apps that people make like paint and stuff like that and then we've got concepts <laughs> these ones get even weirder and then there's just on advanced and there's a few remix things nothing really in here that I would consider interesting so I'd say the best sections are probably games and emulators and um, it depends what you're looking for but I'm just going to choose any kind of homebrew game so let's find a game that might be kind of interesting to play um, let's just choose this game right here I have no idea what it was but it is looks like a homebrew game um, and it might be all right. So once you find something that you like the look of and you want to download it, um, just scroll to the bottom of it and just click on the download button and it will download a zip file for you. So pretty much whatever you download, game or emulator, it will just download the zip file. And now once that has finished downloading, you just want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find it in there. So he, as you can see, here is mine. What I'm gonna do is drag and drop this onto my Nintendo Switch's SD card, then just give it a few seconds to copy across. And now once it's copied across, go into the SD card, get the zip file, right click it and select extract here. What this is going to do is just put everything in the collect place. It's going to put the NRO file into your Nintendo Switch's folder um, just so you can launch it up off the homebrew menu. So just give this a few seconds to complete. So once that has finished, you can now delete the zip file because you no longer need it and the files will be in all of the correct places. So if I go into my Switch, um, this is the game that I got and as you can see it has the NRO in here which means it can be booted. Any Nintendo Switch games that you wish to boot off the homebrew menu must be in the Switch folder and they must be in an NRO format as well. So now we can disconnect our SD card from our PC, put it back into our Switch and I'll show you guys how to launch up the apps or games. So back on the Nintendo Switch we just need to put our micro SD card back into the console. And now we will need to boot into our custom firmware of choice. I will be using Renix OS for this video and I will just be booting into it using the R4S. So obviously just hold the um, volume button up and hold the power button at the same time. Just until you get the Renix OS boot screen and you can let go and then you will start to boot into the custom firmware. Alright guys, so now once we're on the Nintendo Switch, you can now just open up your album folder. So as you can see, when I open up my album folder on Renix, it automatically starts um, the homebrew menu. And you can see that my homebrew app has appeared, HCL Switch. I'm not really sure what it is, but you just select it and then just press A to launch it. So it just looks like a platform kind of game. Okay, it does look like it's well made, just the screen size seems to be really small and I'm not quite sure how to change it. Um, let me try some controls here, see if I can get it to change. Nope, I'm not too sure how to change the screen size. Oh well, the game does work, um, kind of interesting. 
And yeah, obviously I didn't get the best game of choice, but it's entirely up to you guys. You can get anything you want. You can get emulators, um, homebrew games, um, you know, there's loads of cool stuff on there. I think there is settings on this, so I press the plus, and that's the menu, it's the minus, the settings. Um, but there isn't anything to change it. So anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. That is how you use the Homebrew App Store, but use it offline. Um, so you can install all your apps and you never need to connect to your Nintendo Switch to the internet. Obviously you just press the home button um, when you want to exit the game. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.